scam at a hotel. Now, they're going to pretty much explain all of it to us because, you know, I'd never heard of it until Kendall had posted it. So give me a second. And behind the scenes, I'm going to be trying to look up some of that stuff also. So allegedly, these two people, they were scamming hotels. And I think that they were using like fake identities to um, to rent the rooms. And I think they had like fake cards or whatever. But the police ended up getting called. So like I said, they're going to go into details and they're going to tell us exactly what happened. And we're going to figure out who the hell these people were. We're going to try to figure out if we can find any of their personal information, like their Instagram or anything. And we're just going to start doing our little digging and research from there because that's what we do best. We figure things out. We don't solve no cases. We just figure things out. I'm Mo IJ. This is the Mo You Know. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. On April, On April 17, 2022, Dunwoody police, Dunwoody police officers responded to a call about a couple involved in a fraudulent scheme. The duo, the duo had cunningly used someone else's reward account information to book and stay at the Marriott Hotel in Atlanta, Georgia. Upon arriving, Officers learned that the hotel had received a call from a puzzled individual in California who denied making any reservations in Atlanta. Now y'all see why I say check your account every day, every bank account you got, your investment account. If you got rewards points somewhere, check those at least once a week. Always check your account. Now it took a real world experience for me to overdraft. In South Dakota, Rapid City, but ever since then, every morning I wake up, one eye open, I'm looking in that account. You know, I can't focus already, so I got one eye on that account. Whoa, 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 where's the 30 cents coming from? Oh, yeah. Is that him out there? Security That's him out there? Is that him? They're in here. Oh, they're in here? Let's security talk. Let's Okay. All right. All right. What's going on? I'm going to tell you like I told you. Okay. So, you get a call from California saying that uh, this car was been authorized to for, for the room. Mm -hmm. um, you tell me? These are the folks that's occupied. Right, I was in the room. Okay. Um, he wanted to know in California, what's going on? Yeah. So this is what we're doing right now. So he can have clarification. You got, he said he don't you know. Yeah, I got my either one of them. The girl, he, he don't know them. So we have to. So we I'm, have to. I'm gonna tell her like I told her. You, you told me, you, you told no, I, I'm gonna tell him. I'm gonna tell him like I said. I need. Mean, I need mean, What card did you use? What card? Yeah. I asked my girlfriend that card. It's, it's, it's her. It's her. Let me tell. I'm gonna tell her exactly what happened. So me and my girlfriend in the emergency. Initially considering a credit card mix-up, officers were stunned to discover that the couple had checked in using their debit card, but the reservation was made under someone else's identity. Something you know you hold close to your phone, it's not gonna work. So I'm like, okay, maybe they need to put in the manual. So you come in down here, tell about the bag, and since she tells me information, that's that's it. Okay. Who y'all think illegally booked this? Him or the girlfriend? <laughs> Who y'all think it was? Him or the girlfriend? I wasn't aware of any, any foster care. So, so you, so you asked your friend for a room. Ten four eighty three. I'm clear. So, real quick, can you get your girlfriend and tell her to bring a card that was that's in question? So, what card's causing all these problems? Oh, my debit card. They would have said, "Go get the girlfriend." I would have went over there, tapped her on her shoulder, said, "Hey, they need to talk to you. I'll be right back. Y'all, I'm gonna go to the room and get my other card." <laughs> I ain't going back to the room. You see this hallway down here? I'm I'm sprinting, full sprint. First, I'm going to act like I'm walking slow. You remember on uh, Life, 
when he ran across the gun line and he started walking, he was walking slow and then he took his, his hat off and started running. The only thing is they ain't going to shoot me because I'm telling I'm going to go upstairs and get the other car and I'll be right down. You can talk to her. They're not getting me. Not on this. No. Your debit card? Yes. Okay. And so she, do you mind if I get your ID? Yeah. Okay. So what she told me, she said this car was the one that's on file. Which car is the one on file? It's, that's, that's what I'm saying. So my, my person, my homeboy that I said used to get through him, I guess he used the car, whichever, whatever information that he okay. used. That's what I'm saying. Stand by with them. What card's on file? What card was used? Okay, they, they, let, let me look at it again. I, I called Mr. Kloon. They're over there. Mr. Kloon card was not used. They used a different visa card on there and they gave it to the clerk. And that should have alert. Now that's a master card. So yeah, Mastercard. Is okay, right. ending in uh, four four one five five. Okay, so this is the card that they used. They used their own card, but the reservation and Mr. Cruz's information was used. So that's the problem. Okay, so they used this card when they got here, right. but the booking for it was under but somebody else's somebody, name. You want to come and have Yeah, I would. I would love to because. He said it's free. All right. This is Mr. Kuhn. That is his. I called him and I, this is his number. I okay. called and asked him. I verified. Okay. This is his credit card ending. I asked him that. He said he told me. They did not get that authorized. They used their own to authorize to get in. All okay. right. The clerk should have been alert. Whoever checked them in, but she was. Um, so, I, I cannot. You know. And this is Mr. Kuhn's telephone number I've been calling. If the 83 is four, then yes. 231 star confirmation. Right. That's the okay. Repeat. So the room was booked. Somebody booked it with a different card. Right. And they, then no, they when booked they, it with Mr. Cruz's information, everything. Okay. Yes. So whoever got, I don't know how they got. Okay. Yeah. Would you mind running that? The male suspect, claiming innocence, insisted that a friend named Rico had booked the room, but he couldn't provide Rico's last name. Anytime there is a suspect or a character by the name of Rico, I don't want to have to say this, but presume that they are guilty. Whenever you hear the name Rico, Rico was a liar. Rico is a manipulator. Rico is a scammer. Rico might not even be real. But whenever you hear the name Rico, the story is no longer valid. No matter if it's spelled R-I-K-K-O, even though it's not R-I-K-K-O, R-I-C-C-O, R-I-C-O. Anytime you hear the name Rico, let me go ahead and write that down. Rico is a name. That we just don't believe it. We just can't believe the name Rico. <laughs> yeah, my homeboy Rico booked it. Rico booked this for you? Okay, you're going to jail. Turn around, hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. So, you, you said your friend booked the room? Yeah. Who's your friend? I'm not right now. Somebody named Rico. Rico? Is Rico his actual name, or is that like what you know? Him That's as? what I know about. That's how I met him. That's what you Okay, so you okay, so you know him. Through, you know him as Rico. Yeah. All right. He don't even know this nigga. It's just some random nigga he met in school by the name of Rico. He said, "Huh, man, I'll book you a hotel room." I told you. You hear the name Rico? Just assume that it is a lie. You're gonna need his actual name. What Man, I would have told him my girlfriend booked this shit. Talk to her. If you want to, can you go out to my truck and under over my uh, my visor? Um, you'll see my notepad. Can you grab it for me? This is snitching, by the way. 
There's no paperwork needed, but we've seen him give Rico's name and he gave Rico social media. This is what you would consider grade A level one snitching. And so this doesn't have his name on there at all. Oh. Okay. All right. Hang tight for me real quick. A call to the victim confirmed that he had no connection to the suspects, and officers gathered information for the ongoing investigation. This is his information. Hey, this is Officer Hanson with the Dunwoody Police Department. Hey, are you Mr. Kroon? Okay, so what is, uh, what's your member? Okay. okay, so do you know a Vashon? Okay. Do you know anybody by the name of Rico? <laughs> Rico. Who? No. Okay. All right, sir. Uh, real quick. Um, do you have your driver's license on you? Okay. Wait, what the hey, man, I told you I didn't book okay. that fucking room, um, man. Can I get your... What state is your driver's license out of? California? Okay. Okay, Mr. Krim, what is your date of birth? Okay, and what's a good phone number for you? Nah, Eric, this ain't relay snitching. This nigga's talking directly to the police. This nigga told the police Rico and then showed them a nigga named Rico's Instagram. This ain't relay. This is straight up just telling the law exactly what it is. Man, Rico did this shit. Whether Rico has something to do with this or not, this nigga blamed it on Rico. This ain't relay. This is the real deal. <laughs> this is in a uh, 3K on body cam three. Okay. All right, Mr. Kroom. Thank you. Um, if I need anything, I will call you from a phone that is a 470 number. So if you see that, um, that's going to be me. Okay. All right. I will leave a message for you. Okay. I will leave a message for you as well. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if you could. Yeah, if you could. Relay. No. It's the real deal. Can you get this? We got no, action, y'all. We uh, got where's action. The actual, where does it show the credit card number? Oh, oh yeah. They need to unblock the credit card number so we can verify that it's Oh, no, sir. Number. If you could just confirm... Um, at least the last four of the uh, of the credit card that's on file. Okay. That's his profile they use. Okay. Thank you, sir. Um, like I said, if I if I need anything else from you, uh, I will give you a call today four seven zero number. Take care. Bye. Okay. So, Mr. Krim whose information was used to book the room, um, does not know anyway. him, her, or Rico, the friend that he claims um, set up the room. Uh, he gave me the member ID number, along with the last four of the credit card on file, plus the expiration date. Um, and he has the physical card that he used? They have the card. It's her card. Um, it's right there, 4155. It's the female card? Yeah. But how, how is that card being used as the other person's card? Oh, okay. it's not. So basically, the room was booked under his information, mm -hmm. um, and it wasn't authorized, and then they used their card. Did they use his financial information to book the room? Um, what they did, who have made the reservation use Mr. Krum's profile. His profile brings up everything about him. Mm -hmm. That's what they did. And just booked it to Marriott. Just enter and book his profile by using this number. This number holds all his profile. Yeah. And when so I used to be a Marriott Platinum Rewards member with my first job because we used to get the points. So now that I'm older. Well, I mean, I, I peeped it out back then because, you know, I'm always observing shit. So with the Marriott reward, so I was a platinum member at Marriott. Matter of fact, I'm going to try to log in. I'm pretty sure the points expired. I mean, I use most of them. Uh, I use one. I use. 
when I was stationed in Warner Robins, I think I used the last points that I had to knock me out of platinum. And I went back down to like silver because I wasn't, you got to hold a certain amount of points. Uh, that's a whole nother story I'll tell you about. But yeah, we used to get the reward points because we would travel around to the reservations. We would stay in the hotels. Now our boss, John, he used to get the points from our flights. So imagine booking on in my team. We had six people on our team. There was a smaller team of five, and then there was a larger team that had about 11 people. So he would take all the flight points. So he would be flying to China and shit, emailing us from China and stuff, because he was taking all those points. So this is when I first realized, like, all these people, when they stand in these hotels, so I'm like 18, 19 years old. I'm not understanding how are these people staying in these hotels? Yeah, they got money, but they were using their rewards. But just like they said, with your rewards number, when you go in there, you can save your credit card information in there. So what they did was they got access from somebody probably on the dark web or whoever Rico is, he's out here scamming folks. So they just log in with his information and they book shit. Now what they should have done, what they should have done was use the points instead of the actual credit card. Now, when you use the points, then you can go up there and you can use any credit card to put on. Now, I don't know if they probably changed that, but when you use the actual credit card, like she's pointing out, that's why they got flagged. But if they would have just booked it through the uh, credit card, I'm not the credit card, but through the rewards points and then just put their card on file. And as soon as they went there, put the card on file, took their card off, it would have been using all the points. See, these are inexperienced. Uh, how could I say scammers? You're supposed to use the rewards points because he wouldn't have known that those rewards points were being used. Now, Eric, I couldn't we couldn't get the flight points because it was technically it was our company's points, but we could get the hotel points because we stayed there. So when we stayed at the room, since we were staying there for an extended amount of time, that was like our personal space. So we got the rewards for the hotel. So I was a platinum member at Marriott. I was a I was the top tier at, <clears throat> at Holiday Inn. And we used to get all those points. I, mean, I used to tear them things up, bro. You go out to Residence Inn uh, up in Portland. I stayed there for six months. Man, I had about. I had two weeks worth of rooms that I could book through the Marriott because I was staying in a suite for six months. Man, that was good times. But yeah, you got to book through the rewards points, use the points, not the actual credit card. Because the credit card, whatever credit card you book with is the one you got to put on file. And that's why all of this started to flag. The mail uh, checked in. What name or you whoever. Get? You get the ladies named Kelly, mm -hmm. Batiste, or whatever. Batiste. And whomever at the desk check that did that so they're also at fault okay so it, it did they use that. any did they try to check in under rodney croon or oh, i don't know okay uh, yeah I, that I how long know. ago did they check in today uh so sharon that's what i was talking about i'm eight like i'm 18 19 years old i'm walking around with four five thousand dollars cash on me so you get per dim checks depending on the city but the least amount of money that you can make each month's tax-free was fifteen hundred dollars because thirty nine dollars a day was your per diem. Now in DC you got sixty four dollars a day. Phoenix you got sixty four dollars a day. Uh, let's say Colorado we were getting thirty nine a day. I tried to get the Alaska trip because you get ninety nine dollars a day and that's tax free money. So prior to each trip, when you first get there they might give you an advance. Here go fifteen hundred and that'll cover however many days and then they'll come and give you another check later on. So for me. It didn't matter when they gave me my per diem checks because I always saved all my per diem checks and I just lived off my working checks because per diem was tax free. So I knew exactly each month I could at least save fifteen hundred dollars minimum. But most of the hotels we used to stay at the residence in, uh, I stayed on, I think it was K Street in D.C., like downtown D.C. Me and my brother had the top floor. We had the two apartments with the shared living room. Cause we were staying there like dog, we were getting everything when we stayed in like the Marriott's top tier because we got the government discount. So if you got a suite, you were paying the regular price, like for a regular room. So we all used to get suites. Man, I ain't gonna lie to you. That used to, I used to love that shit, bro. Mm, mm, mm. Where you staying at? The top floor. <laughs> Would you talk about where I was staying at? The top floor, baby. How you doing that? You only 20 years old. <laughs> Because I got it like that. At, at six o'clock. Six o'clock. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you stayed at the Marriott's, they served breakfast and they served dinner. So all you had to do was pay for lunch if you really wanted to. Mm -hmm. And so when did the card actually get declined? 
Was mean, the card attempted to be used? Mr. Coon's card? Yes. No, they couldn't have... Uh, okay, attempted. so... Yeah. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to get. So yes, basically, okay. they just... They just came... Booked a room under his but, member number. Right, and the thing is, the clerk should never have let some... Especially that it's under this rate, this, this uh, market code, because that means that person is using points to, to check in. The, the, Mr. Coon's points is being used to check this person in. It's not by. Ah, so they did use the points. Ah, they did use the points. They did use the points, but they missed one minor detail. They were supposed to put their card in there. So when they check in, their card would be the one on file. I knew it had to be a small detail. These are, these are rookies here. I broke this down before we even got to we we talking about me traveling. I already knew what it was. If you would have put your card on file, you would have been all right using the points because you would have just had the money that you needed to hold, you know, what I'm saying for any incidentals. But they just kept his credit card on there, used the points. And when they checked in, they used their car. Oh, Lord. <laughs> See what I tell you, you use the points, but you got to put your card on file. So when you go in there, Whatever card you book with is the card you got to use. But if his card was on file, you can't check in with your card. Oh, man, this is the ease. Oh, they about to go down for this. Hopefully, let's see. This is getting interesting now. This is better than I thought it would be. They're not paying. They're using points. So they're using his reward points right. to pay for the reward. Yes, yes, That's yes. what's going on? That's okay. what's going on. Okay. Whoever set it up knows his personal information mm -hmm. and did it that way. Okay. Because there's a certificate number. Wait, wait, let me pull it up. There's a certificate number that came up that would, one, one program would have given them, and that's the certificate number. Did they say who made the reservation? Rico. The guy says. It's some dude named Rico, but he only knows him by Rico, and he only showed me an Instagram account. So this Rico is the one who made the reservation? According to him, yes. According to Michelle. And there's no way to verify that. That does not come up in our system. Yeah. Fraud's shoddy. Yeah. It is a little bit. Yeah. It's, it's not... It doesn't necessarily fit. Yes. Yeah. Um, just because... But, but yes, see. his account was used, but his financials weren't. His financials were not touched. As well, far as just, Marriott, he wouldn't have any understanding of whatever facilitation yeah. to begin with. But first of all, all he's asking is that he gets back his points, which that's, I could arrange. Gonna, I could arrange that's, that. Yeah, that's on. That's on. That's on your. Yes, own. I'll arrange and get that back. Um, that's no problem. But, but was that eighty three confirmed yet? Oh, okay, so they, they, yeah, they cannot stand the room. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Call me. The officer asked the male suspect how he communicated with his friend Rico, and the suspect showed him messages on his cell phone. This is not relay snitching. This is the real deal, y'all. Sir, so do you have any contact between you and this Rico? You do? Do you mind showing me that? Is it on Instagram as well? No, he gave me his number. He gave you his number? Yeah. Okay. So what brought you to this one? He just he tell me he tell me to pick one. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? He'll, he'll give me a choice. He tell me which one. He's like whichever one you want. How did you get his phone number? I just told you he gave it to me. Yeah, somebody, somebody that I knew. They said on Instagram. He said in the room. Give me contact. Contact. Me. Okay. So where, where's when did he start setting up this reservation? I need you to get to that and just let me read it all. Man, I would ask him, am I under arrest? Because I ain't showing you this shit, man. We'll check out the hotel, but nigga, I ain't showing you all of this shit. He's right. I'm asking that. I'm just still got me. I 
question is, did I just hear? Is he using my information to book the room? I can't say. Cause that's 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 what he that's what he said though. So it's the same same thing with this one. My brother, it's the same thing with this one. What what is what is this? That's what he, this, these are, these are rooms that he'll give me. We came down here for an emergency, and I like, I need a room. So he sent you a picture of what is what is these, this? These are the screenshots. Of, this is like like I told you. You told me it's two names to get in. When we came here today. It was two names. We got hers, and then there was another person. There. That's that was another one. This, this was another one. Yes. And when he's doing, see, he's doing this, and then we're standing in the hotel, so I'm thinking we're okay. I'm not knowing of nothing that's going on until just now. All right, man, we can't give this kid a hard time, man. So it looks like they were actually scammed. It looks like he was legit scammed. But if it's too good to be true, that's kind of what we were talking about with, like, the cult shit. So it looks like this young man was scammed. But what I want to know... Before I get into believing that he's fully scammed, because no one's ever fully scammed, he participated in this. I want to see the conversation where he's like, yeah, you know, I can get you these for the low if you give me like a certain amount of money. You know what I mean? I don't necessarily think, I mean, I do, he, he was scammed. Like he's going off what the dude was sending. But I believe he had a small role in this. Like, hey man, oh boy, be getting accounts, he can get you a room. Like I'm thinking, he, there's some yeah, there's some fishy shit going on here. Unfortunately, he's the one that got the police on him. Look at this cop right here with his hand on the wall. No, he's like, man, this is some bullshit. Man, there ain't no action here. I'm following him. Need me to do? I'm asking. Him, so you tell me to get the room. He gave me the room. Okay, cool. Contacting him. Like, right, what's up? Hello, boom. He gets me the room. Yeah, I'm letting them go. Hey, brother, you and your girlfriend, y'all gonna have to check out of here. Whoever this Rico kid is, he scammed you. Uh, if you want us to, only if you want us to, we'll do a little research. I'll take this number. I'll take that Instagram and we'll follow up with it because what it appears is he's still in people's accounts. So we'll go ahead and let you and your girlfriend go. But if I catch your ass around here again, you're going to jail. That's what I'm looking at right now. But we still got another like 27 minutes. So the truth might come out. And you know me, everyone is a suspect until I remove them from the board. This is this is a really thing. Okay, so how did you meet this guy? How did you how did you first find yeah, out about true? This guy? Here we go. The mutual friends. Through mutual friends. Through mutual friends. Had they used the same thing? Yeah, somebody okay. most people have used it before. Okay. So why are you sending him money? Because he has me pay him so he can give me the room. So she, like I told him, I, I say, can I get a room for this kind of person? I'm low on money. I just need somewhere to stay. Me and my girlfriend need somewhere to stay. He said, okay, I got you. They had me pay a certain amount. He'll give me a room. It's just like that. The head scratch told me everything. The nigga knew this guy was scamming. Yep. Take him on in. Hands behind your back, son. Hands behind your back. Don't make any moves. You're going in. You knew a couple of other people that were out here scamming hotels, and you said, me and my girl need a place to stay. Would you pick the fanciest Marriott you could find? If you need a place to stay, go stay at the goddamn Motel 6 or something. You want a discounted rate, $39.99 a night. Take them on in. The head scratch is all I needed to know. This is getting good. Look, they got them surrounded too, so you can't run. Look. So this is their messages back and forth. Uh, I think I passed it. So. This guy apparently has numerous accounts of other people's. Mm -hmm. 
That's the first one. What was into? I've seen that one and the one used for this one. Did you get this guy's phone number? <laughs> no, not yet. This sounds like this guy's gonna be your vendor. Yeah, no, he is. And then, and then my guess is that he's him. just scamming. Yeah. So this is the card for them to get their stuff. Um, they don't want him here anymore. They go somewhere else. Okay. And then uh, he's going back once they're get their stuff. Yep. Let me call Sarge and give him an update. So I'm gonna give you that back. Along with your license, I'll hand you that back. So just bear with us a little bit longer. All right, we're just trying to figure out what the heck's going on. All right. Yes. Can somebody come upstairs with this cat? Or, yeah. Um, we're gonna try to get you to get your stuff, and they don't want you here anymore. Nah, nah. I'm taking. What y'all got this for us? I know we're gonna get our pet and your stuff. Yeah. Super big one. So. Are you on the phone with Sarge? Look at her lazy ass. Go get over there and catch a body or something. Go make sure these niggas ain't running off. Go escort that lady to the bathroom. Do something on the phone with Sarge. Everybody else over here working, doing investigative stuff. You over here on the phone with Sarge. Ain't said one word. Get your ass off that phone. What up, Sarge? This is Agent Alvarez. We're on the scene here. It looks like a little bit of fun. When you get the chance to chat with me real quick. Thank you. Merry Christmas. She needs to go. Hey, Sarge. So, um, he got this Rico guy's phone number. Um, I guess we went from him um, over Instagram. He came in contact with him through mutual friends who it sounds like he's they've all used this guy's service which um, you pay him money and he gets you rooms at discounted rates. Um, in the text there are two pictures where he has sent a screenshot of like somebody's name address uh one of them didn't have a card on file um it was uh somebody in south carolina i forget her name um and then the second one was the one that was used for this room with the card that was on file on the computer um and so it sounds like or what it looks like is this rico dude is going to be the offender um and it's looking like he's just scamming people the most um, where yeah. people pay him and then all right man you ain't talking about nothing oh yeah the old block six been found guilty for killing fbg duck if you guys care he uses other people's information to book these rooms for people and then lo and behold this happens yeah I want this nigga Rico's Instagram. I gotta ask him a okay, question. So or two. I need to find out if Okay. <laughs> um no, he just wants his points back. Um, I don't really know, to be honest. The male suspect explained that Rico had booked a hotel room under his girlfriend's name and another person's name, and they checked in using his girlfriend's name. He mentioned that they had stayed in another hotel just yesterday without any issues. As the officers delved deeper, discrepancies emerged in the suspect's story. The male suspect maintained his innocence, presenting text messages supposedly from Rico. Do you mind if I see those, those text messages one last time? So they stayed at a hotel yesterday, and it worked, but they can't. Stay. it looks like they can't stay over a day before people catch on to it. 
So now they didn't bossed up. But if I'm this kid here, I'm telling them straight up at this point, I didn't already told on Rico. I'm like, why are y'all talking to me? This girl right here, this criminal sitting next to me on the couch is the one that booked the room. Y'all need to be talking to her. I, I talked to Rico, but when she checked in, she said we was all good. I don't know nothing that's going on, officer. I'm innocent. I am a victim in this scam that her and Rico have been pulling off. Sir, you got to believe me. I wouldn't lie to you. I was just looking for a place to stay, and my girl said she got me, and she booked this room for us. Her name is on the thing, ain't it? It ain't my name. It's in her name, sir. Why are you talking to me like this? I didn't do anything. I'm going to go down here real quick and just check this door over here. <laughs> I'm running, man. <laughs> but it looks like the story is getting deeper because he just exposed it. They stayed in a hotel the day before. Shut up. Hey, bro, we booked this room and we don't know what's happening. They already said they don't want you to stay here. You can leave. Don't say nothing else. Just, okay, we can leave. Bet. That's it. So this was on the, I, I take it this is the last one that he sent you. Yeah. This okay, and that's this. Yeah, yeah, this this one. When did he send that? Okay, five forty two. Mm -hmm. Okay. When did y'all check in today? Oh wow. Uh, was it like I think right after that at like six? Actually, just pulled up. Yeah, it's six. six eleven. Okay. Okay. And how did how did y'all check in? Like, did he say he put it under her name? So uh, he know, put it under her yeah. name. Okay. So. And he got me, and that's what I'm. That's so what I'm did he give you all like a confirmation number? Yeah, like, it's, it's right there. It's right there. Right. Right. You see it? Oh wait, hold on. Wait. Yeah, you see it right, right there? there. Like when you send me. So is that what is that what you guys use to actually like look up the reservation? No, nah, we use our name. You, so you basically like look it up by your name? Yeah, we put that under. So he put it under her name? Yeah. Okay. Well, I can tell you that's not what happened because they have it under. No, it is though. No, I'm saying, I know what I'm saying is he, he that's what he tell him. That's why he sent me this right here. That's what he tell him. He was like, he said he has a reward system. So I'm like, okay, cool. He was like, so right. did you check in using this guy's name? No, because he didn't. He told me not to. Okay. So he's like, that's from the rewards. Just use it under her name and then you'll be, you'll be good. Hold on. I'm lost. So, okay. So the room was booked under her name. Both. Both of his name and her name. Yes. That's what he said. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, and then y'all looked it up under her name. Absolutely. Okay. Just trying to clear that up. Yeah, thank you. Not leave, but it's out of Florida, so I want to kill you. about leaving to him now. That's good. No, I just paid that. I'm going to contact him. I don't know why. Yes, sir. To let you know that you, you got a warrant? Yeah, I, I don't know. I ain't know where you're talking about. No warrant. Yeah, I, I know it has Sewanee County, Florida probation, but that's been handed. So I'm Did you not get like sure. a hit and run? So that's what it sounds yeah, like. Yeah, that's, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. They put me on probation and I came back. My guess is that you probably missed some of your probation requirements. But I think I don't see it. Sometimes you got to go in. No, no, it would no because when I went, no, that's the thing. I went to court, and the fact that did they I put you on probation? Yeah, I went to okay, court. Okay, yeah. Sometimes when they put you on probation, you still have to like so, go uh, for like no, that's what, that's what I'm saying. Like she, she, you know, she gave me the whole agreement because of the fact that I was in Georgia and she was in Florida. Okay. And she said I'll, I'll pay like two twelve a month for like for like three months to equal okay. up to whatever total was. And I, I haven't there. actually looked at the actual. I'm telling, I, know so, exactly, I know exactly when he just said that. Okay. But I know and you said something about showing up, but she told me I didn't have to because it was Georgia and Florida. And I got you. Okay. Part. Um, but that's still my guess is that something, something in that probation got, yeah, I'm, I'm got hung up. <laughs> it only gets worse, bro. Just shut the fuck up, man. This, oh my goodness. This is why I tell y'all just don't do any talking, bro. 
Once the police showed up, fuck it. Hey, man. All right, we'll get out of here. You know what I mean? It is what it is. My bad, bro. You got to try to be as cool as possible, say as little as possible. This nigga then told them about Rico, exposed Rico's whole scam. Rico's about to go down because we know they're going to be investigating who the fuck he is. Now his ass warrant didn't popped up. Now they about to take him in for this warrant that he talking about it was in Florida and in Georgia, but it wasn't really in Georgia. It was in Florida. They told me I had to show up because I was in Georgia. Now he about to go down all off of a goddamn scam when in reality, all he had to do is just point over at the girlfriend and say she booked the room. She booked the room. When the when they called me down and said that the credit card ain't go through, and if I knew I was scamming, I'm not going down there. I'm packing my shit up. <laughs> it's in her name. It's her card. I'm packing my shit up. She talking about we gotta go down to the lobby. The card ain't working. Okay, let's go down to the lobby. Look at my eyes. Let's go down to the lobby. When we get down to the lobby, she goes right to the the, the front desk. I'm going left, and I'm getting the fuck out of there. We scamming. Anytime they, the car ain't working, whoa, 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 I'm gone. I'm not coming down here and trying to dispute this and get a free room when I know that we are scamming. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Now look at this nigga. I knew the head scratch. The, the head scratch it, 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 it didn't sit right with me. I said, something's off with this brother. I'm trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I knew everybody's a suspect until we remove him off the board. Now look at this nigga. He trying to get it out of this damn warrant. <laughs> I mean, you got a warrant, nigga. He said it was a probation violation. He said, no, nah, I, I got like a hit and run on ours. He's like, no, no, no. They said I ain't had to do with that, man. I know exactly what you're talking about, but they said I ain't got to do it because it's Florida and then Georgia. You know how it is. Like, no, nah, nigga, we don't know how it is. Sit your ass down. We're going to talk to you in a minute. Okay, so, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't about no one. I ain't going to know anything about He's got to have a message where he said, all right, thanks, bro. Good looking out on this shit. So y'all checked in under her name? Yeah. Okay. Oh. And see, my reason for not knowing that this was anything like that, because this is not the first room. So, so you've used him multiple times? Yeah, yeah before. Now, that's what I'm saying. I'm not knowing it's a problem because he said he had a war system. It's, I'm, I'm standing in the room. I found you, Dad. So I'm standing in the room. So I'm like, how many times have you used him? This is my second time. Second time? What was yeah. the first one? Or yes, when sir. was the first yes, one? Okay. Right here. I went, to, I went to another one in Buckhead. I told him I the need Buckhead one? one? Yeah, I, went, okay. I need emergency for uh, me and my girlfriend. I need emergency room to make your room. They would okay. room. I was like, okay. All right. Hang tight with this officer right here. Mm -hmm. Um, actually, if you could, I'm just going to have a chat with him. However, the investigation revealed that the reservation was initially under the victim's name, with the girlfriend's name added just moments before check-in. So, here's a call. So, I know you weren't the person working the desk when they checked in. No, uh, yeah. Do you know anything about how they checked in? And that's what I just printed up all the stuff for my okay. demand. Does the room does the room reservation have her name on it? Kelly yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Someone added that name. So it was added, added after the fact. She was standing in front of what, when was the re right. can you show me that on the computer? Yeah, okay. All right. I just printed up this is the clerk that did it. Okay. Her, I just printed it up for the boss. Okay. The manager. Uh and so, so look, when when does it show that the reservation was first made? Oh, we would have to go into a, another system to find out okay. where it is, who made it. Okay. Yeah, and and and, and my boss Brandy went beyond because my number wasn't working to get into Marsh the reservation system okay. because they they were supposed to change it and hasn't done it. So, okay. so I can't. Is there uh, any further I thought that he was coming. Off. I thought he was coming back, but he hasn't gotten here yet. Okay. Uh, so, this clerk, let's see. See, she she made the change here. So at eighteen oh four. 
it, at six o'clock. Yes. So it was it, made at five o'clock. So it was made at yes five forty two today. So yeah, let me okay, so that's, up. that's when the reservation was made. Yes. Yes. Five forty two. Yeah. And this is when they oh, added yeah. her name. Uh, right here. Yes. So yes. That, it's okay. so that is when they added their name. Right. Uh -huh. And that was when they checked. Right. Okay. One. One thirty. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The reservation was made at five. I mean, an hour before. Not even 20 minutes. I mean, really. Okay, so here's the thing. Okay. Um, after talking to Sarge, mm -hmm. um, it sounds like. It is. It is. What it sound like, officer? Yeah. Is that in the city? Um, I don't know. There was that. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call him one more time. And um, and update the information. Just keep an eye on that. Are they still sitting there? They were sitting. I didn't know. Okay. So once again, just so I can 100% clarification. Mm -hmm. Reservations made at 542, mm -hmm. and they edited it at 604. Right. Let me go to the reservation screen. Okay. So the clerk 87, it 605. Is when they actually, check in. Yes. Physically, like. Physically. See, I couldn't work with this old lady, man. You know, I'm cool with the elders, but I couldn't work with her ass because as soon as you do something wrong, she's throwing you under the bus. She said, Clerk 67 did this. Clerk 67 should have caught this. Clerk 67, whoever that is, they should have did this. Like, damn, just say, hey, these people are scamming. Why does it matter what the clerk did? We're not talking about the clerk, man. You know what I mean? If I'm our co-worker, I'm like, Shay, yo, 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 I fucked up, man. They came in here. They had a reservation. I booked the motherfucking reservation, okay? I, I, I let them get the key cards. It's on me, all right? I fucked up. But don't be telling the police, Clerk 67, that nigga Moby, that nigga Moby fucking up. I knew when I first seen him come in there with that beard and that fucked up hair, I knew this nigga was on some nigga shit. Like, hey, bro, Clerk 67, this, clerk, hey, 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 yo, 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 yo. They fucked up, but we not here for them. Don't be throwing your co-workers under the bus. Now, when this gets out, when this gets out, you already know she's going to go tell the manager. Yeah, Clerk 6 or 7, whoever he is, that nigga was fucking up. I think he's in on it. Now your ass got to talk to the police. So did you have any, do you know Rico? And they're going to ask me, do I know Rico? And you know I can't lie because we didn't see 19 different Ricos in Tubi movies. So now I got to tell them niggas, I know, uh, I, I, I don't know Rico. I heard of Rico, but I don't know the nigga like that because I can't give up no information and snitch on this nigga Rico because I don't want to be in Rico shit. Then Rico's going to know exactly where I work at because nigga, I work here. So I can't tell you what I know about Rico because I don't know Rico. I just know of Rico. You know what I mean? I don't have his Instagram, but she's throwing the number clerk 67 up under the bus. Clerk 67, he should have caught that shit. Like, damn. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Let's just get the scammers out of here and we can handle this shit internally. You know, don't be telling the police because now they talking to me. What do you know about Rico? I don't know Rico, man. The fuck? Hit that like button, man. They were standing the in front of the person. And she added this person. They said something. So at six six oh four is when the name was added, and then a minute later is when he was fully checked in. Okay. Okay. And I came on, and and you don't want them here anymore, right? No. Okay. No, not under somebody's name. I can more than likely help you with that. Good. Great. So let me give my sergeant one last call. Yes. Okay. With the sergeant's input, a decision was made to arrest the couple. Oh damn. Get him out of here. Yep. I made that decision 20 minutes ago, though. I already knew that these two had to okay. be suspect. So I found out what I could about the check-in because it was a different clerk that did it. Um, reservation was made at 1742 today. It was edited at 604. And they were checked in at 605. Um, and they're telling me that um, basically they're trying to blow some smoke up, up my rear because they're saying that they looked it up under her name, but I'm seeing on, on the screen that her name was added to it a minute before they checked in. Like 22 minutes after the reservation was made. Um, uh, the two, them, him, uh, him and her, Vashon and uh, Kelly. Not the clerks, no. Yeah, the, the guests were saying that they looked up the room under her name, 
Kelly and not a confirmation number or anything like that, even though they have a screenshot of this hotel with a confirmation number uh, at 43, a minute after the reservation was made under Rodney Croom's info. And then a, I think a minute later after that was the screenshot of Rodney Croom's information. Damn. And this nigga then gave up all the evidence. They booked it one minute later. The screenshot came in. Hey, I booked it. And this nigga then gave up Rico's phone number, Rico's Instagram. You know, I'm shaking my head, but in reality, what I need to be doing is applauding. Justice was served. We got two scamming ass motherfuckers off the street. So you and I have two less people that we got to deal with. I know it sounds bad. We don't wish jail on nobody, but we did get two scammers and potentially Rico's operation up and off this street. So as an adult and in the real world, I look at this as a W for the police. I know people say fuck the police and all that shit, but this is a W because this could have been your account. These could have been your rewards points during the pandemic. $200 worth of gas was used off of my car to call the bank. I don't know who the fuck that was, but nigga, that, that shit says it's about 300 miles from me, 200 miles, something like that. I wasn't there. Get that shit out of here. And if I could, I would call down there and get the license plates of the vehicle, and I would tell the police to go get them niggas because they took $200 from me. Even though I got my 200 back from the bank, I want them behind bars, and... I'm going to go ahead and sue them for whatever they got because it caused too much emotional distress. I, mean, I, I, I just ain't going to get right. But we got two scammers off the street. Plus, there is a, a probation violation in the warrant. So, um, I'm thinking I got enough for DC schemes at this point. So, both go. He said the Justice League. Oh, yeah. Power could definitely use some notes here. Okay. All right. The male suspect kept insisting on his innocence and kept claiming he hadn't done anything wrong. He also tried to convince the officer that his girlfriend was unaware of the situation, asking not to arrest her. Shit, everybody going to jail, so, nigga, on my watch. Let's talk in the front desk, Clark. You said you looked it up under her name? Yeah. Okay, so... What I'm seeing up there is that the reservation was made at 5.42 today. That sound about right? And then it was changed a minute before y'all checked in by the front desk clerk. Like to add her name onto it. No, no. She looked it up by her name. I don't know about no change. What, what, I'm, what I'm telling you is what the front desk clerk told me. Oh, no, I understand. Then so, asked, then whoever the employee was that she was up there, he would call her, ask, I don't know what it was. But we just have her name. He said, okay. She's like, Batiste? And he's like, oh, Kelly? She's like, yes, cool. That's all the good. Okay. So here's the problem that I'm having. Is one, this dude is sending people's personal information like, does that not seem I understand a that. little weird? I understand that. Now, he, he's telling me he has reward points for the hotel. That's all I know. Under different names? That's all, that's all I know. Like, I, one's I, a female? I don't, know what he, I don't know what he's doing. Like, does it not seem a little strange? I mean, it, it does, but I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. He's so good for cheap. I need someone to stay. It's an emergency. I, I, and I, I, I get that. I wasn't but, talking about that. And this, this seems sketchy. I'm not going to sit in the audience and I didn't see it. But I just need to stay in the audience. I need someone to stay with my girlfriend. It's like, I wasn't. I wasn't so, so where do you stay at now? I stay in Grimes. We came down. I didn't have my key to my house. My parents were not home. Okay. Okay. She trying to act like her stomach hurt over here. Uh-uh, ma'am. Where's the female officer? Get the female officer over here. Uh, you over here with the glasses. Pat him down. Put him in cuffs. We'll talk to him in the back of the uh, the police vehicle. Uh, ma'am, put this lady in handcuffs. We'll talk to her in the back of the vehicle also. It seems like she's not telling us something because the reservation is in her name for some reason. So I'm thinking she's the mastermind behind this and she's just being quiet and this guy is nervous and telling all the information. Go ahead, lock them both up. That's all I have to say. Okay. So here's the deal. A couple things. One, hotel doesn't want you here. Absolutely. 
two, I got reason to think that y'all knew that this whole thing was a load of crap. Because you're getting, you're getting people, you're getting random people's personal information. Like cards, addresses, everything. I'm not, I, I don't know about the card. You just give me a name, the name, and the love. You can look down and you can see the card, man. I didn't, I didn't go to that. I didn't. I was a confirmation number and a name. That's all. I don't know about nothing. I didn't see that. I didn't click on the card. I didn't see no card. Okay. And even if there was a card, I'm thinking it's his or whatever the case may be. Okay. I'm not knowing about none of that. See, I didn't know that they had the, they had the credit card in the message also he talked about he didn't go down to that he just looked at the confirmation nigga it's one whole picture it's one whole picture it's not like a picture you got to scroll down for you click it and everything pops up on it i knew something was off about him but yeah she's a little too quiet over there because if he's doing all of this she's the one who knew rico she knew rico and told her boyfriend about it he went through with all of it. All right, let me talk to Rico then. So when he said he found out about Rico through mutual friends, he found out through her. Because why would he be talking to Rico and then have Rico put it and change it and put it in her name? So this nigga knew the whole scam. They were they ain't on this. That's why she over there acting like her stomach hurt. Oh, nah, your stomach gonna be hurting tonight because we didn't already serve dinner, boo boo. It is jail time. Lights out. Yeah, both of y'all going down. Both of y'all, I'm telling the judge, I recommend the, well, he got a warrant, so we're going to go ahead and get his ass up out of here. But I'm I'm telling the judge, I'm saying, judge, that wasn't they cards. They scamming. I recommend at least a year in jail. At least a year in jail. Now, what I would really recommend, and if 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 you have the time, your honor, I, I really recommend you putting five years on both of them. I know it's a little, it's a little steep, but you got to make an example. And I know people are going to say they don't treat the white folk like this. Yeah, I know, but fuck it. They scamming. It could have been you. It could have been me. But let me tell you something. At this age and point in life, it ain't going to be me because I'm pressing charges to the full extent of the law. Yeah. Scam me if you want to. If I can find out who you are, you're going down. You're going down. And if I did, I would not book the room. All right. So here's the deal. You mind standing up for me? Yeah. Okay. So right now, give me a place under arrest. Place under arrest. Uh, conduct. What did I do? What do you do? Fraudulently booking a room. I'm not knowing about no room. You use a third party. To book a room using I'm not, I'm not. other people's information. First of all, this nigga's been doing some prime time scamming. It's been right in our face. It's been right in our face. Been right in our face. Him and his girl needed a place to stay, but he got this G Raw star. I mean, this G Star Raw. Information. I understand that, but I'm About not. Notified. I told you who did it. Like I don't. I don't understand. You didn't tell me who did it. You told. You showed me an Instagram page of who did it. I saw it. you the messages. I'm, I'm it's still it. you are in a spot to fraudulently take valuables, i.e., the hotel room. Okay. Okay, I understand. Can I ask one thing? Yeah. Just, just she has she did not know. She's following me. I'm getting the room. That's all. We need somebody. She to, didn't know. I, I swear to God, my father and my mother, she did not know. Man, don't you be lying on your mama and daddy. She knew. That's why she put her name on there. She knew you niggas ain't had this kind of money. So she knew. And that's one thing I never understood. They try to say she didn't know. But she know niggas ain't got no money for this hotel. She just like, come on, man. If my homeboy is like, hey, bro, I'm going to book these rooms for us, where we staying at, man? It's a five-star. Nigga, I'm not even booking myself a five-star room, let alone, nigga, you not about to book two of those rooms. Nah, I'm good on that one. So for her, to, she's in on this. And this nigga done lied on his mama and his daddy, bro. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. <laughs> he done lied on his mama and daddy. 
She didn't look know. Look at her. Look at her. I'm not crying. She mm -hmm. like had nothing to know. So, are, are, is this you telling me that? No, I'm not telling you anything. Okay. She didn't know. I told her, I said, he's going to use her name. Why is she crying if she didn't do nothing? Why is she crying if she didn't do nothing? And he didn't say she was under arrest. He just said you was under arrest. She's crying because she knows that you didn't already told this information about Rico and the whole plan. So when you get down in that interrogation room and they start talking to you about that warrant, you're going to tell the truth and say that, no, nah, my girl actually had this shit. She the one that introduced me to that nigga Rico. She's going to be a city girl, all right, right behind bars. I couldn't find my ID at the time. She said, OK, I'm not thinking nothing of it. We're in the middle of moving. I couldn't find my ID. We get here to the room. I find my ID. Okay, cool. That's why I'm able to give it to her. She has nothing to do with it. Just let her go home. That's all I'm asking her. We can do it. Okay. She has nothing to do with it. But the problem I'm having is it's under her name. Yeah. I understand. Is it was changed to add her name onto it. The change part. And that y'all checked in under her name. I understand. That's the problem that I'm having. Well, can we call the other employee? I, it wasn't supposed to be. It's, nothing was supposed to be changed. We, she said, "What's the it name?" Was, it was edited at a minute before y'all checked in. And I'm and I'm telling okay. you guys that I have no high recollection of that, bro. And I told maybe he, maybe he changed it. That was, that's what I'm saying. I'm not sure about that. I just said it needed to be on here because I couldn't find my. It was ID. changed by the front desk. That's even worse. So we need to call the employee because I don't know her. Now the niggas telling on clerk 67 who we already assume probably had something to do with it because it was changed at the front desk one minute prior to them checking in. So that means they must have been in contact with this nigga Rico or he must have sent the text like, hey, we coming up here putting in my girl's name. Oh, my goodness. So now it makes sense. I was going in on the lady, but the lady was just doing her job. And she said clerk 67 should have caught this. But she found out that clerk 67 changed it one minute prior to them checking in. Oh, my God. She was doing her job. I apologize to that lady. I apologize. I take that back. Oh, man. Clerk 67 is going down. And now he's telling them, we need to call them. Nigga, don't call me. Nigga, call Rico. Oh, man. So the old lady was right. I knew when I was telling you the story, she prejudged me, and that's all right. Sometimes you got to prejudge people. They say don't judge a book by its cover, but sometimes you got to. So when I came in there with the beard and the messed up hairline, she already knew something was off with Clerk 67. So that's why I was telling you that story, because I was trying to get in the mind of the older lady. And it all made sense once we got to the end, because now this nigga saying, well, call the clerk. Why are we going to call the clerk for you checking into the room and it being changed one minute prior? That's because the clerk has something to do with it. The clerk knows Rico or you contacted her through via Rico. Oh, or the girl knew the person up front because she is the actual mastermind. And she said, hey, change that shit to my name. Oh, my goodness. Bring them both in. Bring them both in. Yeah. Both of them going down. Both of them are going down. I want them both in here overnight. Turn the AC up. Don't give them no food. Don't give them no drink. One of them is going to crack. One of them's going to crack. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And just dangle that warrant over this nigga's head. He's going to tell the truth. Hey, we got this warrant. We can extradite your ass back to Florida now. You give her that information. She did it. I promise you she did it. Oh, my mama and oh, my daddy. She did it. Ah, oh, damn. This dude, he didn't went from telling. He didn't gave up the whole operation. He didn't told on Rico. Gave them Rico's phone number, Rico's Instagram. He then told on the clerk, saying, well, maybe the clerk did it. Dog, it just ruined everything. Whoever this nigga Rico is, this, this is 2022. I'm going to see if there's a follow-up about it. But Rico, I apologize on behalf of all the real niggas in the world. Because we wouldn't have showed them no phone number, no nothing. They would have said, let me see the phone. I would have tossed that motherfucker so far. No, they not seeing nothing. But this nigga then told. And she over here crying like she ain't had nothing to do with it. But her name got changed one minute prior. And this nigga going to tell the police, well, we were in the middle of moving. We stayed in the hotel last night. We were in the middle of moving. I couldn't find my ID. But when we got in the hotel room, I found my ID. And that's how I could present it to you. So you mean to tell me that you lost your ID from last night to today, but you found it once you got into the room after her name was changed one minute prior to y'all checking in and her car being put on file. 
That's what you're telling me right here on the crime scene. That's what you're telling me that you lost your ID, but you found your ID before you came down here to present to me when you didn't know that the police was coming. So. You know, you get fucked up, right? Rico, you're going down. Yeah, Rico is going. Rico is probably eating good too. Rico is probably making. Let's just say Rico is making like a thousand dollars, two thousand three. I, I I say Rico is probably making about five thousand a month off of this little scheme here. Not anymore. Not anymore. We got Instagrams. You know, Instagram is gonna give you that Gmail. Instagram is gonna tell you if they change their name. Instagram is gonna give you their phone number. That phone number is going to have to be connected to a phone because you can't make an Instagram now without a phone. That started in 2020. So it's over with for Rico. It's all because of this dude right here. I'm talking about I lost my ID, but I found it when we got in the room. That's how I could present it to you. You're going to find an ID, all right? To the left? Face forward? you about to have a new ID. I don't know the employee. All right, well, he's going to figure it out, man. I'm going to go ahead and... All right, man. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> don't, but don't. All right, man. You need to turn around. <laughs> she said, he. <laughs> yeah, he, he, nigga. I'm going to go in. All right, man. You need to turn around. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nigga. <laughs> you know she guilty as a motherfucker. Anybody that's crying like that that didn't have anything to do. If you didn't have anything to do with this, you ain't going to be crying like this. But when you know this nigga's about to get in this damn precinct and fold. I don't know her. Okay. I don't know the employee. All right, well, he's going to figure it out, man. I'm going to go ahead and... All right, man. You need to turn around. Don't, don't. I couldn't be a police officer, nigga. <laughs> you were under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. <laughs> you have the right to an attorney. I'm lock you, you so we don't clamp program, down your lips. We'll okay. appoint one to you. Get your purse. I can get your purse for you. Okay. You understand these rights that we have just Mirandaized your ass with. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's it. We'll take that okay. as consent. You're going down. Walk with me. <laughs> Look at the lady at the front desk. Hey, everyone, shout out the lady at the front desk, Clerk One. She's been there the longest. Everyone put Clerk One in the chat. Dude. Shout out to Clerk One. The real OG. Look at this dude. Look at this. This is Rico right there. Look at Rico. Damn, they didn't caught y'all ass. <laughs> Don't do crimes, y'all. Don't do crimes. Do you have any pockets? <laughs> My phone. <laughs> Just your phone? Okay. All right, I'm going to use the back of my hand. Just make what sure there's nothing else in your pockets, okay? <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and step in for me. <laughs> nah, don't cry now. Despite pleas of innocence and attempts to shift blame, both were apprehended for disorderly conduct and transported to DeKalb County Jail. Oh, they was in there with young thugs. Yeah, this is around the time Thug. No, Thug got arrested. Yo, no, Thug got arrested in uh let me see. He may have been in there with Young Thug. 
So I'll kind of explain this again once we get down there. So the reason that you guys are both under arrest is because you guys were in a place in order to fraudulently obtain a valuable good. Okay. In this case, the hotel room. Yes, sir. Oh, no, he's in full to county. Never mind. Now, the reason that both of you are under arrest is because the reservation was made. It was changed to her name. Okay. And the contact was made through you. Okay. Um, it's just going to be a city code section. Okay. You guys are going to have bond set immediately. Um, it's either going to be 350 or 250. 350? Okay. I'm sorry. So, and once again, I'll explain this when we get down there. I'm not trying to leave you all in the dark. I realize that this is not the outcome I wanted. No. Okay. Um, hey, you got to look at her and tell her to shut the fuck up, man. Hey, shut the fuck up, bro. It can't get no worse. He just told us we about to bond out for 250, 350, man. It's cool. It's cool, man. You get you a decent lawyer. If y'all go through Rico, I'm sure Rico got lawyers on standby. You can get a decent lawyer and you can get this shit knocked off, man. But I'm not trying to leave y'all in the dark. Um, ma'am, they should be able to take your purse. If not, I will let you know yes, and it will be in the Dunwoody Police Department property room. Okay? You just got to come and then let them know that your name... Uh, and they'll be able to get your stuff back to you, okay? Your firearm is going to be in the Dunwoody Police Department property room. Okay. Then they had a firearm on the two. Um, and I believe you got about three months. Okay. Right. I'm going to get that ASAP. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry? I'm going to go get that ASAP. Yeah. No so, Both of those um, it's it's going to be there. Just let them know your name, and they should be able to get it to you. Okay. Right. Uh, you may have to call and make an appointment, so I'd call ahead of time. Okay. Um, call the police department, and then go to the property. Mm -hmm. I forget what number it is. They just recently changed everything over. Okay. Um, but they could probably make an appointment for both of y'all uh, right, if okay. they don't take her purse. But right. they should because it does. It seems like it fits in that blue bag. Um, okay. Do you guys have any questions for me um, as to why? Uh, no, everything is to I, um, okay. I, I get what happened. I, okay. I heard about it before. Um, my question is the stuff that's in there, are they going to stay in it until we come back and get it? Are they going to just throw it out? I don't want like, can, can you go talk to them about their stuff in the room? We throwing this least, shit out. Just tell them just at least leave it in there and let's pick it up. Like, as no, all. Maybe, no, no, maybe. no, wait. I can like somebody just put it in my trunk or my car. My car is parked. At least, like, at least let just, us do that. And we can, so, we can, we can trust. Let the, everything. Can you go chat with them about seeing if they can hold it in their, in their, um, in their, in their business. You got, you, yeah, because I, I, I have a computer. I have school stuff. You got a computer. I have school you stuff. Just, yes. You guys can just, uh, what's it called? Okay, you, know, you pick that shit up from uh, the I, I side of the curb when you get out of jail. Well, I can just give you my car here or something because I have, okay. I have school. Where are your car keys? Are they yeah, in my room? It's in my pocket. Yeah. It's in your pocket? Yeah. Dang, he didn't pack it down at all. No, he did. He did. He okay. did. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. This is not funny. I'm fucking you laughing at. I apologize. <laughs> no. <laughs> Are you guys going to come back and get it? So, I'm going to try to work with you to get your stuff in the best pocket possible, okay? Because right. like I said, I... This is not the outcome I want. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. So I will catch you guys up when the other officer comes out. Um, <laughs> she said it's not funny. Process. Why are you laughing? And Why are you crying? Y'all can spend the least amount of time as possible. Hey, okay. fact, okay. Eric, we said the same shit. But this shit ain't scary. What are you that? crying for? And dude? Then we just I will let you know uh, what he says. I'll probably slide open that middle door. Okay. No problem. What do you say? He says I'll probably. Someone tell me what he says. He says I'll probably slide open that middle door. Okay. No problem. No, not the the dude said something. So this dude said something to the girl. And she says no. Listen, he gonna ask her something. I'm about to tell you why, bro. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> See, she said no to something. I don't know. Well, they never got their Miranda rights read to them. So hopefully they can make if they make it down there and they get booked without the Miranda rights. Hey, they got to throw all of this out. Like, that's the first thing I'm always, hey, you got the right to remain silent, motherfucker. Yeah, you got to do the Miranda rights early. So now all this shit, they can, well, I mean, everything they say is going to be used against them anyway. But yeah, if they don't get their Miranda rights, they good to go. But, you know, scamming is scamming. You know, it ain't it ain't that bad. Just a little misdemeanor. You get bonded out immediately, $250, $350. So what, $35, $25? Come on, man. She talk about. Can you put the shit in my car? Man, that means they're going to search your shit. That means they can go through everything if you willingly giving them the keys. We don't know what this nigga got because it turned out this nigga got a firearm on him. He got a warrant for his arrest, his probation. We don't know what the hell is really going on with that. She crying, making shit worse than what it is. And again, we getting out for $35. Like, come on, man. $35 is less than what we paid for the hotel room, boo-boo. You know what I mean? Now it's not odd, Sharon, because this is a this is just a little mystery. It's not like a violent offense. So just putting them in like there's nothing, it's not like they were stealing or anything. You know what I mean? So you can put them in the same vehicle. It's not like they were whooping somebody's ass, you know what I mean? Now the identity theft, they might get something for that. But man, these white collar crimes, you don't get nothing for really. Because it wasn't like they used the financials. They did put their own card on there, but they were just using the points. So they only recovering the incidental. You know, they like, we got to have a card on file in case some shit go crazy. We'll take that out of that hundred. That's all they did. So, yeah, I mean, they all right. This ain't nothing serious, but this was good, though. This was good. This right here shows you guys while doing crime. It just isn't something you want to do in life. You know what I mean? Now, we've all done some crime in our life. It's inevitable. We've all done something, whether it's running a red light, maybe a rolling stop. We've all committed crimes. But it's just to the extent that you want to do it, like booking a hotel room through somebody like this is all they all knew that this was a part of the whole thing. She has something to do with it. I can't put my finger on it, but she knew what was going on. She knew what was going on. And if like. The whole clerk 67 changing it one minute before they checked in. Like she was in on this. She may have not been the mastermind because it's starting to look more and more like she wasn't the mastermind. But come on, man, you willingly participated in this and you knew you niggas didn't have this kind of money. So it's like, come on, you got to go to jail for this. Plus, you put it in your name. Come on. He just magically found his ID. So was the hotel last night in your name or was it in his name? Because he had his ID last night. You see what I'm saying? I don't know, man. It's cool, though, man. I ain't gonna lie. I like watching this stuff. Of course, you don't want to see nobody go to jail. But I mean, they knew what they were doing. They knew what they were doing. That's what that's my story. And I'm sticking to that. They knew exactly what they were doing. But other than that, man, I'm I mean, we're pretty much done here. I mean, that was probably the highlight. I like this. Y'all want more body cam footage like this for Wednesdays? Like try to get one a week. Cause I, I, I like the body cam footage. It gives us a, a perspective from the law and it kind of makes us respect it more when we're talking about power. And that's what I always say. When we talk about the administrative group, we gotta have some police presence. If not, then it's like, man, okay. <sighs> Here we go again. I can find body cam footage all day. All right, we'll bet. Each week, each Wednesday, that's what we're going to do. We'll do two articles, and then we'll do body cam footage to end off the night. Try to get body cam footage unless... Well, if you send me the body cam footage or, like, the link or whatever it is, I'll look it up, but I'll look up some articles also because I do want to know if there's a follow-up to this. Like, see how much time they got so we can actually get the whole story. You know what I mean? So we'll do that. And hopefully it's like around 20, 30 minutes. All right, so cool. Wednesdays, we do body cam footage and two articles about something that's going on. All right, y'all hit that like button. I am off tomorrow, but I got to do some editing. Tomorrow we have Are We Ready? 
I'm gonna start that at probably probably 2 p.m. Eastern because I don't know if we're gonna have work on Friday. But I'm gonna actually open up the lines. I'll put the link so you can come on here. You got five minutes to shine. Give like your prediction, your theory. Don't give us any spoilers. You know, what I'm saying we'll cut you off. But give us like your little prediction theory. So on Thursdays we'll have that opened up. And man, we're gonna work from there. Friday we back episode seven on the clock. It's gonna be a hell of a time. Uh, let me see. What else we got? Saturday. Saturday, I'm going to be working on the Amsterdam video. Put that together for y'all. Because I got to narrate that whole thing. So that should be up next week sometime. I might drop those on Saturdays. Yeah, have the traveling on Saturdays. So we just keep us a little schedule. But all right. Is it uh, legal to carry a firearm in Georgia? Well, let's go look. Oh, well, that's Wikipedia. April 22nd, Governor Brian Kemp signed constitutional carry bill into law, allowing both open and concealed carry without a permit for both residents. So looks like in Georgia, shit, you don't need no license. Just fuck it. Do whatever you want. <laughs> Let me see what they say. Constitutional carry bill SB 319. Okay, so it says make sure that law abiding Georgians, including our daughters and your family, too, can protect themselves without having to ask. For permission from state government so as long as you're not a felon you can have a gun down in georgia you don't need no permit you don't need no license it looks like yeah you just do whatever the fuck you want in georgia all right i mean shit there you go yeah in georgia just like in texas and florida hey if you got a gun you got a gun sometimes you gotta go you gotta go Yeah, so it was passed in 2022, the Constitutional Carry Act. Look at Kemp. I mean, that's a cool law, though. That I mean, I figure if you ain't got like, if you're not a felon, then yeah, you should be able to carry a gun if you want to. I mean, we got to put some trust into the people. I mean, I know, I know it can get dangerous, but come on, man. If I ain't got no, if I ain't got no felony, I should be able to go buy a gun if I want a gun. I know some people feel certain ways about guns. I mean, I'm over here in Germany. They don't have guns unless you got like a hunting rifle, but you got to do a lot of stuff 